Hello, today's topic is Knowing Our Numbers, Chapter 1, Grade 6, NCRT Textbook. In this chapter, we will be discussing two subtopics today. One is comparing numbers and another one is large numbers. Comparing numbers or comparison of numbers is not a new topic, isn't it? We are doing this from our KG days. Back in KG, what was it? Uh, which is a greater number? 3 or 4, 9 or 10, 11 or 12. Then we moved up to hundreds. We started like 677 is greater or 689 is greater. Then we came to thousands. Like that, we have reached to much larger number here. So, as the number becomes larger, it becomes little difficult to find out the larger number also, which is a greater number in these two, right? So, to do that, we have some set of small rules. We will just go through that and make it very easier to find out a greater number. Here, you can see I have four numbers. What I'll do, we will compare first two numbers, these two, and then we will see which one is greater. So for that, what I should do, I should go ahead and see how many digits are there in these numbers. Now from digits, I want to know if everybody is aware of digits. Okay, let's do one thing. Let us just have a quick revision. What are digits? All the numbers that come from 9 to 9, 0 to 9, all the number which falls in the category of 0 to 9 are called as one digit number. 1, 0, 2, all these are digits, single digit number. So now for example, I have 1, 2, 3. 1 is a digit, 2 is a digit and 3 is a digit. Now if these three digits come together they will make a they will form a number see 12 is also a number 321 is also a number 121 is also a number isn't it so now if i have i am supposed to answer why is it 121 what will i say it is because of the place value so 1 comes under which place value? What is the place value of 1? 1 is at 1's place. So 1 into 1 is 1 and 2 is at 10's place. 2 into 10 is 20. 1 is at 100's place. 1 into 100 is 100. If I add all 3 of them, I should get 121. So we just went ahead and expanded the number to see the place value of different digits in this particular number. So let us come back to our question. Here we have two numbers. So the first step which helps you to, you to understand which is a greater number is number of digits in the number. Here you have six digits. Here also you have six digits. So in this case, number of digits is not going to be of much help. So what is the second step? Second step is to find out the place value of each digit from the extreme left. Because from the extreme left only, the number which is at different place value will help you to identify a greater number or a lesser number. Let us see that. Here our 9 is at which position? If you want, you can write it down here. 1s, 10s, 100, 1000, 10,000 and lakhs. So 9 is at lakhs place. So 1 lakh has how many zeros? 5 zeros. Okay. Plus 8 is at 10,000. So this is 80,000. Isn't it? Okay. 7 is at 7 is at thousands place. Perfect. 5 is at hundreds place. Good. And 4 is at 
tens place. So 4 into 10 plus 1. Okay, I have done it for the first number. I have to follow the same process for the second number. But if you notice, for the first four numbers, I don't think I will see any change, isn't it? Because this is also at lakhs position. I'm going to write it exactly that way. And 8 is at 10 thousands place value. And the place value of 7 is 7,000. 5 is also the same but 3 the value at tens place is changed. What is it? It is 30 exactly and 1's place remains same. So what will you notice? There is a change here. There is a change of 10 digits. You know there is a difference of 10 here. 40 minus 30 is 10 and we know 40 is greater. So, at tens place comes our number which is going to decide which number is greater. So, tens place decides in this case that the greater number is 987541. Right? Perfect. Is it clear? We can move to the next example. Now, if you look at the next example, you can say very clearly to me that it is quite evident that the number of digits in this number is 5 and here it is 6. So, I can close my eyes and say this is the greater number, right? But, what if you have to justify why is this a greater number other than the number of digits? Why am I saying that is there may be situations where you will have to find out two reasons. Justify with two reasons. Something like that. So you should have an answer. Right? So let us see what is the answer. Uh, this when we see from the right hand side these five digits are same. Sixth position there is a number which is three. So this position is lakhs place. At, la at lakhs place there is a digit 3. Here at lakhs place what is there? It is 0. So which is greater? 3 lakhs is greater or 0 is greater? 3 lakhs is greater. So that's how this number becomes a greater number. Correct? I hope this thing is clear. If this is clear what will we do? We will go ahead and see some questions to practice. What can you do? You can put me on pause and try this question. If you find any difficulty, you can put it in the comment box. That the same way you have to try with these numbers also. These numbers are quite big and they will help you to have a better practice. And there is also a problem question for you. Please try to do these three questions. Uh, that will help you to get the concepts clear which we just went through. Isn't it? So now, as I said, the next topic is large numbers. What are these large numbers? Uh, we have heard about tens. Isn't it? We know hundreds. We know thousands. And you might have heard in your home, like your parents saying, I bought a phone, I bought a mobile worth 20,000. There is a villa which is worth 7 crores. That car costs around 24 lakhs, right? These, these conversations you might have heard somewhere. So see, crore, lakhs, thousands, are they big numbers? Yes, they are big numbers. They have lot of zeros and all. So let us see how are these big numbers we are going to how are we going to deal with these numbers or what kind of scenarios we uh, we can use these kind of big numbers let me just give you a quick trick also here uh, can you tell me if i have i ask somebody to give me thousand rupees but the denominations should be of 100 that means 
give me thousand rupees but all the notes should be hundred rupee notes so how many notes should i get any idea see you know 10 into 10 is how much 100 you know that one zero comes from here and one zero comes from here if i do 10 into 100 what will i get i will get thousand my three zeros come from there so the same way if i have to get thousand rupees with hundred denomination i will multiply with 10 so i will get thousand isn't it easy now somebody tells me oh i have to give that person one lakh rupees but he is asking me to give in hundred denomination so i have two zeros with me how many more zeros i want three zeros isn't it so i will multiply hundred with ten with thousand that means thousand no number of nodes of hundred denomination will make one lakh right easy what if i have 10 rupee notes and i want to give that guy one lakh rupees of 10 rupees denomination what will i multiply with how many zeros i need i have one zero i need four more zeros so that means if i have 10000 10 rupee notes i can make 1 lakh so 1 lakh is equal to 1000 tens there are 1000 tens in 1 lakh 10000 10000 tens in 1 lakh and there are 1000 hundreds in 1 lakh right there are ten hundreds in thousand. Is that clear? So like that after thousand comes ten thousand. After ten thousand comes one lakh. So let me write ten thousand. Then comes your one lakh. One, two, three, four and five. It's a six digit number. 10 lakhs 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this is 10 lakhs and after that comes your crore 10 crore and like that it goes on now every time people ask us what is the smallest two digit number so can you tell me what is the largest one digit number isn't it 9 because after 9 if I add 1 plus 9, what happens? I get 10. So, 9 is the largest one digit number and 10 is the smallest two digit number. Right? And if I say 99 plus 1, what happens? I will get 1000. Like that, our, num our numbers get increasing 99 plus 1 is 100 uh, this is the largest two digit number and this is the smallest to three digit number so this is a pattern that that might be useful for you if somebody asks you to find out the largest seven digit number what can you do you can just put six nines which is the largest six digit number and this is the largest seven digit number isn't it you can just add one to get the smallest eight digit number just don't forget this this is very useful so i hope this trick where you have to find out number of tens in thousand or number of hundreds in thousand that also you have understood properly so, in the next video, we will be looking into writing large numbers, how to go about writing large numbers and Indian place value and international place value charts. If this video was of interest to you and you were able to learn something from this, please do subscribe and share.
Thank you.